Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So I don't know how many videos I have made about Padlet, which used to be called Wallwisher. I have been using Padlet for years. I think I have some that are more than 10 years old and I'm surprised that they haven't archived them or they probably have, but I haven't <laughs> looked. But this week I wanted to just share some of the new AI tools and people have been asking me about the old videos I've released and not being able to find those functions. It's because Padlet are so innovative, they keep updating the this dashboard and the functionalities. So anyway, if you're interested in finding out about the new AI functionalities on Padlet and explore with me, then please keep on watching. I've only superficially looked at the AI tools and make Padlet, but look, there are new functions here. So I just, if you go to make a Padlet, now it's like in beta version, create with AI. So what do we want? Discussion board is new and I might click on that a little bit later. Class activity creator. I'm interested to see that. I like to see all the new things. Lesson plan, ideas for class activities, uh, assessment polls, which could be used for any kind of poll to collect evidence of student learning. And then you've got these galleries and these wonderful templates of break for breakout rooms, three, two, one uh, summary. I mean, this is phenomenal. And I also love how there's a little poll here. And I was using a free version recently to ask for votes for the cover of my upcoming book, AI Powered Pedagogy, and I actually just should have just used this. So which one shall we have a look at? Uh, let's look at the new one. So I'm going to click on this new. Takes me to this discussion board. Okay, so this is new and I haven't seen this. So you choose your idea, first of all, to generate your topic, and then you're going to configure, okay, which is create an engaging prompt. Um, then we add the first post, I write my own, and then we share, and it's the same. You've got the QR codes, you can share on Google Classroom directly, you can open in Zoom. Wow, I'm gonna be trying that in my next virtual workshop. Okay, so let's go to generate. Okay, so I might just have a look at, let's go for a math topic. Let's look at calculus, okay, <laughs> just for something different. It's grade 11. Uh, I'm going to generate it first just to see what the tool comes up with and while it's thinking and so let's see it says select from the options below so this discussion explores how limits play a role in various real life applications oh that's pretty good students discuss and compare various methods for finding derivatives and yep they're practical applications wow this is really good a debate on the necessity of teaching calculus in high school? Absolutely. Students debate the importance of graphical versus analytical understanding and learning calculus. Well, you know, there is not one answer there. That's absolutely debatable. And that would be a wonderful debate. I mean, all of these. So it so selects from the options below. Okay, let's just choose this one then. And here's configure the board. And then I can say question, response, or debate. And you can see my title's changed. And there's a little emoji here of um, a speech bubble. So let's go to next. And let's see our brand new discussion board. So here we go. So add the first post, write your own. Consider predicting markets. So it says add the first post and then it's given me some options of different real life situations that we can apply limits. So predicting market trends using limits. Okay, that's economics, population growth, temperature forecasts, uh, understanding limits may not directly apply when with personal finances. Yep, absolutely. So let's have a look at uh, economics. Let's use that one. Okay, I'm going to be using that one. And then now I share or I'm just going to press done. I'm going to move myself out of the way. And then here is my discussion board where everybody that has the link can then answer this question either in pairs or in groups or individually at home. How does the concept of limits apply to real world situations? I love this. Okay, let's go and find another board to make. Okay, so what about, let's try the ideas for class activities. Let's see. So I'm going to do math again, and I'm going to do grade two this time. And the topic's going to be Let's say addition, okay? I want to have a look at the concepts and some activities for addition for grade two. I'm gonna create, and then let's see what it comes up with. The magic is happening. Creating your ideas for class activities. 
And of course, it might take a little longer than the other board, the discussion board. Okay, so what classroom addition activities did it come up with for grade two? Oh, when it's got grade six. So we've got addition bingo, and there's a link here. Uh, addition scavenger hunt with cards. There's an interactive math journal. There's a flashcard relay. So it's looked at the internet and then found all the resources that are relevant to grade two addition. I mean, that just is such a time saver, isn't it? Instead of us Googling and trying to sift through things, we still, I think, have to look at every single link to see which we're going to use and which are better. Uh, it's got grade six ones here, addition with decimals, interactive whiteboard problems, addition pro uh, puzzles. So all these different activities. Now, they're just a couple of the AI tools in Padlet. There are a lot more, as you can see. I thought I would just share again how powerful and how wonderful uh, Padlet is as a tool for collaboration, for teaching and learning, for collecting evidence of student learning, for giving you suggestions of lessons and unit plans. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And I want to stress, I am not sponsored by Padlet, by the way. <laughs> Okay, so thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time.